Our own Carla Rogner has been hearing from Republican leaders in the state, including Governor Mike DeWine tonight. She's also talked with people in Ohio. She joins us live in studio. Carla, what's the reaction been? Yeah, Colin, the overall reaction I'm hearing tonight is shock. Monday's actually the start of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, where Trump will be officially nominated as the party's candidate for president. We spoke to Governor DeWine as he was on his way there this evening. He called this a worse nightmare and says now it will be important to learn why this happened. On the phone tonight, Governor DeWine sharing his reaction after former President Trump was shot. It's absolutely unbelievable, shocking. Uh, thing. It's, 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 you know, the worst, uh, uh, the worst nightmare that, um, you know, one of the presidential candidates, in this case, former president, would be, would be, uh, would be shot. The motivation of the shooting is unknown. The governor is condemning the violence. In this country, uh, having debates and making decisions, and people voting, uh, but when you see violence, that just, you know, there's no place for that, and it totally disrupts uh, that normal, the normal democratic process. Ohio's Republican Party chairman also in Milwaukee weighing in. I was initially stunned and then, and then you know, kind of immediately defiant. Um, you know, we are, we are fired up about this. And, um, uh, you know, so my reaction is um, one of anger, uh, one of resolve. Uh, you know, we are we are prepared to elect Donald Trump. Chairman Triantafilou says this violence has no place in American democracy. President Trump was the victim of an attempted assassination, and that's just the latest uh, of attack put upon that man. So, uh, you know, look, I'm. I, I, I want to win at the ballot box. That's it. The shooting, a major point of discussion as people went about their Saturday evenings. It's terrifying. However hard people might disagree with him, it's it's, it's shameful that somebody would try and attempt such such brazen thing. I don't think it matters where you stand politically. Seeing someone get shot is an awful thing. So I'm really sad. And I just, it's sad that that's... No, it's just sad that it came down to something like that. With heightened tensions, there's also concern for the next several months leading up to the election. I just don't know what's going to happen anymore. You know, I mean, uh, these things used to be civilized, but, you know, we're not a civilized country in a lot of ways anymore. And it is concerning about what the intentions are behind it and more so how people are going to respond to it. Governor DeWine's message for Ohioans that the next few months should be focused on debate over policy, not violence. Violence is just uh, the most anti-democratic thing that we can, we can think of because it takes away, uh, potentially takes away the rights of the people to make a, a decision about who they want. And the Trump campaign confirmed tonight that Donald Trump will plan to be in Milwaukee for the RNC next week. I asked the governor and party chairman if they have concerns about the security there after what happened tonight. Both men tell me they're confident in the RNC security plans and protection by the Secret Service. Colin.